What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jam Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Blade is certainly a movie that uh, they cannot afford to mess up, Brian, and this is certainly a, a really a highly anticipated film. Uh, if Freddy was on the show... We, we would have to hear him say, oh, it was Blade that started off. Yeah, 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 we know. But that is why this movie, Brian, is so important. And yet, Brian, it is falling under similar situations that have occurred with other movies of with, with rewrites and just constant change and nothing... Will it translate into the movie that we get to see in theaters, Brian? What are your thoughts? Because Mahershala Ali, it, it, according to that article you sent me, you know he's been demanding a lot of rewrites. Demanding. And this was a problem before when a director only had like two action sequences in it. Yeah. This, Brian, sounds like a mess. What are your thoughts? I completely agree. So they put them... So this production obviously was on the clock before with the original director and the original story. They got to the 11th. They were weeks away from the shoot. And then all of a sudden the director was out. The story was tossed aside. They went back, started over, when, brought in a new writer, brought in a new director. And then we come to find out if we believe this latest report that Mahersha Ali, quote, requested script changes all the time. Wow. For a number of months due to the acclaimed actor's dedication to realizing his vision for the fan favorite character. That's a scary statement. His vision. Now, he's a two-time Oscar winner, so I give him all his due as a, as a thespian. But the history of projects where this happens and the star literally takes over kind of every aspect of production. I mean, other than Tom Cruise. I'm a fire when I am goddamn good and ready. You got that. This usually doesn't turn out that well. And they're back on the calendar with a shooting date. We're weeks away again. We're right back where we were. And it feels like they're going to war with an unfinished story that he is just going to continue to tinker with along the way. Oh, jeez, God. <sighs> Very concerned. Very concerned. And you have every right to, man, because it's like, we don't know what we're going to get un until we get some sort of interview where he speaks on it or we get some... Um, knowledge regarding the the progress of this film and what this film is about we won't know all we know that there's a lot of chaos going on and that doesn't usually turn out into a good movie and and that's my concern and will we see that chaos in the film is this is just another uh, uh item on the list of concerns that we have for these characters, Brian, there's a bunch of characters coming out that we're like, I don't know. It's interesting because, you know, there was a time where I think if this had happened, it would have been Mahershala Ali who left the project, not the others. It's it, And I wonder, we have remarked on how as the MCU has become this bigger and bigger enterprise and Kevin Feige is able to attract bigger and bigger name actors and actresses. This is one of the potential prices you can pay for that. Mm -hmm. Now, we should be fair. This could turn out great. Maybe Mahershal is going to put this a firm hand on the wheel and it, he is going to steer this thing to success. But my only point is when you've got him and you've got Charlize and you've got people who have been in the, the industry and won awards, you know, if they feel like giving the orders, they tend to give the orders. Yeah. And like I think back to like when Edgar Wright wanted to make Ant Man his way, and Marvel was like, nah. nah. And Patty Jenkins wanted to make Thor her way, and Marvel's like, nah. But when you bring in the big stars and the big names, now the shoe's on the other foot. It's, it's them who's telling the studio what's what. 
And, and this was something. And this was something, Brian, that we applauded Marvel for not putting up with this sort of control, uh, uh, this behavior of wanting to control um, this vision of what Marvel wants to do, and have it turn out to be. I mean, I, they're leaving. They're, they're giving trust to these uh, artists to do whatever they, I, I, it's hard, I don't want to say whatever, but when it's like you're getting these bad films and you got guys defending what they did, it's whatever they wanted. And so. you, you know, it's funny, you actually were one of the earliest people I heard express the concern specifically about Mahershala Ali and Blade, which was he was introduced on stage at the tail end of a convention show but you picked up on the fact that what was unusual was they didn't have like director story. They didn't have an idea. They just had him. And the rumor was he was picked a up phone the phone call. and called Kevin and said, I want to do it. And I want to do it this way. And Kevin was like, yes. And that was really one of the first times that Marvel basically was like, we're going to sign the star and worry about the rest we'll later. Later. Yeah. Pablo, they can't send this to the screen if it's bad. But it's a will. big setback if this if this if this is bad and bombs like they have their whole designs on monsters and all that that arm of the MCU they want to develop this can't fail. This is falling under the same sort of thought process as the Rocks team had when they say, "Oh, we got the next ten years planned out." I had the same reaction when I read this story. It reminded me more of him than it did of. Yeah, so it's. <sighs> Freddie certainly has to wonder um, what kind of movie we'll be getting with, and, and I'm pretty sure Blade fans are concerned or, or could be concerned about what kind of movie they're gonna get because again, Blade that's a high bar, man. That's a high bar. That is a classic for most people. He has to make it unique to him yeah. regardless of what he does brian the comparisons are going to be made but he oh, has to yeah. start, he has to set himself apart oh and i think i think i think the i think the look the feel this movie can't on the one hand it cannot be seen as a, as a cheap imitation of certainly the first two blade man the last one's pretty weak but the, the first two blade movies in particular cannot be seen as a cheap imitation of that it also can't be seen, quite honestly, as a good imitation of that. It has to carve out its own path in a distinctive way. And like, you know, this is another example of they've got a calendar date. They need to get this front. They need to get this going. They need to get this out. You know, this we'll see if he holds true to it. But this is what James Gunn is talking about right yeah. here is that you don't send this project in front of the camera with a script that isn't agreed upon by the yeah. key participants. That's how you spend more money than you wanted to on stuff. Yeah, and I got to be honest, like Blade is not a billion dollar property out of the gate. It's not. No. Like, it, this is one you want to be on budget, on time, make some solid money out of the gate and build some hype. Yeah. 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 Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of Blade and the current status of where this film is. Mahersha Ali is demanding a lot of rewrites. This is his vision. I wonder what Kevin feels about this or how he feels about this. Because you have to sit back and, and say to yourself or wonder, did I lose control? You know? But this is where, you know, Mar what, this is where we're, as we get into it deeper and deeper and Marvel needs that hit more and more. And you're like, you just look and you're like, is it gonna i mean guardians should be fine but then like the marvels don't see it thunderbolts yeah. nervous new world order nervous this nervous like it's it's concerning right now this it's, it's concerning when you hear a project like this that's struggling just to get off the ground yeah man i just i i just hope mahershal ali knows what he's doing um he is a great performer. Uh, you enjoy watching him perform. Let's see, let's see, because this is a, this is this is huge. If this doesn't work out, if this bombs, 
And not to say that Mahershala Ali is not going to get work, um, but this should certainly leave a, a black guy on the, the MCU. And his career might take a little bit of a hit um, because of, I mean, again, he's the guy that everybody's looking at, Brian. If this fails, people are going to look at him like, you know, they're going to look at him w weird, you know? And can yeah, we work no, with him? That's what I mean. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, if these stories are accurate and this if this thing really is going to be riding on his name and his his creative and it doesn't work out, is he back as played? Or are we recasting that role and shelving the character or turning it into a supporting character only or some, something we all don't want to see? Yeah, yeah. Let us know in the conversation below what you guys think of the Blade situation. Um, Freddie. Let us know what you think. Give me some <laughs> info. Because um, I know he wants this movie to succeed. We all uh, do. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we, 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 we do, all do. But we want well, this to be great. Yeah, but we, this, this, that, that, that concern that's setting in, like, is the, it, the concern is overwhelming the excitement. Yeah. And, 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 and that's the unfortunate thing about it. But hit that like and subscribe. Um, comment in the comment section below. Share it with your friends. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Energy Report. And by the way, if you don't have time to watch the video and you're driving and you want to just listen to the video, you can go on to our YouTube, uh, to our iTunes uh, that link that I'll leave in the description below so that you can guys check it out there as well. Um, we'll see you next time on the Energy Report. Later. <laughs>